What are the top 5 weapons of the United Kingdom in 2022? Weapons that would make its enemies think twice about attacking it, the defenders of the kingdom. Let's get into it. Vanguard Class Submarine The Vanguard Class is a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, in service with the Royal Navy. The class was introduced in 1994 as part of the Trident Nuclear Program, and comprises four vessels, Vanguard, Victorious, Vigilant, and Vengeance, built between 1986 and 1999 at Barrow and Furnace by Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, now owned by BAE Systems. All four boats are based at HM Naval Base Clyde, HMS Neptune, 40 kilometers, 25 miles, west of Glasgow, Scotland. Since the decommissioning of the Royal Air Force we.177 freefall thermonuclear weapons during March 1998, the four Vanguard submarines are the sole platforms for the United Kingdom's nuclear weapons. Each submarine is armed with up to 16 Trident II missiles. The class is scheduled to be replaced starting in the early 2030s with the Dreadnought-class submarine. Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carrier the Queen Elizabeth class is a class of two aircraft carriers of the United Kingdom's Royal Navy which are the central components of the UK Carrier Strike Group. The lead ship, HMS Queen Elizabeth, was named on July 4, 2014, in honor of Elizabeth I. She was commissioned on December 7, 2017. The second, HMS Prince of Wales, was launched on December 21, 2017, and was commissioned on December 10, 2019. The contract for the vessels was announced in July 2007 ending several years of delay over cost issues and British naval shipbuilding restructuring. The contracts were signed one year later on July 3, 2008, with the Aircraft Carrier Alliance, a partnership formed with Babcock International, Thales Group, Ant Group, the UK Ministry of Defence and BAE Systems. In 2014 the UK government announced that the second carrier would be brought into service, ending years of uncertainty surrounding its future. This was confirmed by the Strategic Defence and Security Review 2015 with at least one carrier being available at any time. The vessels have displacement of approximately 65,000 tons, 64,000 long tons, 72,000 short tons, are 284 meters, 932 feet, long and are the largest warships ever constructed for the Royal Navy. The carrier air wing, CVW, will vary depending on the type and location of deployment but will consist of a maximum of 24 F-35 BS under normal circumstances, or 36 in extreme cases, and Merlin helicopters in both utility and airborne early warning roles. The projected cost of the program is £6.2 billion. The 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review announced the intention to purchase the Lockheed Martin F-35C carrier variant and to build Prince of Wales in a catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery catabar, configuration. However, in 2012, after projected costs of the Catabar system rose to around twice the original estimate, the government announced that it would revert to the original design deploying F-35 BS from short takeoff and vertical landing, Stovall, configured carriers. Astute Class Submarine The Astute Class is the latest class of nuclear-powered fleet submarines, SSNs, in service with the Royal Navy. The boats are being constructed by BAE Systems Submarines at Barrow and Furnace. Seven boats will be constructed. The first of class, Astute, was launched by Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, in 2007, commissioned in 2010, and declared fully operational in May 2014. The Astute class is the replacement for the Trafalgar class fleet submarines in Royal Navy service. The Astute class is stowage for 38 weapons and would typically carry a mix of Spearfish heavy torpedoes and Tomahawk Block 4 cruise missiles, the latter costing £870,000 each. The Tomahawk missiles are capable of hitting a target to within a few meters, to a range of 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers. In May 2022, the MOD announced that it would be upgrading these missiles to Block V standard from 2024, which boasts an extended range and modernized in-flight communication and target selection. The Astute Combat Management System is a new version of the submarine command system used on other classes of British submarine. The system receives data from the boat sensors and displays the results on command consoles. The submarines also have Atlas Hydrographic DSO-25 high-precision echo sounders, two CM-010 non-hull penetrating optronic masts, in place of conventional periscopes, which carry thermal imaging and low-light TV and color CCD TV sensors. The class also mounts a successor IFF system. For detecting enemy ships and submarines, the Astute class is equipped with the sophisticated Sonar 2076, an integrated passive-slash-active search and attack sonar suite with bow, intercept, flank and tow to raise. BAE claims that the 2076 is the world's best sonar system. 
All of the Astute class submarines will be fitted with the Advanced Common Combat System. F-35 Lightning II The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multirole combat aircraft that is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. It is also able to provide electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. Lockheed Martin is the prime F-35 contractor, with principal partners Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems. The aircraft has three main variants, the conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, F-35A, the short takeoff and vertical landing, Stovall, F-35B, and the carrier-based, cv catabar F-35C. The aircraft descends from the Lockheed Martin the 10th-35, which in 2001 beat the Boeing X-32 to win the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF, program. Its development is principally funded by the United States, with additional funding from program partner countries from NATO and close US allies, including the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Italy, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, and formerly Turkey. Several other countries have ordered, or are considering ordering, the aircraft. The program has drawn much scrutiny and criticism for its unprecedented size, complexity, ballooning costs, and much delayed deliveries, with numerous technical flaws still being corrected. The acquisition strategy of concurrent production of the aircraft while it was still in development and testing led to expensive design changes and retrofits. The F-35B entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps in July 2015, followed by the U.S. Air Force F-35A in August 2016 and the U.S. Navy F-35C in February 2019. The F-35 was first used in combat in 2018 by the Israeli Air Force, which also shot down the first enemy aircraft in combat, in 2021. The U.S. plans to buy 2,456 F-35s through 2044, which will represent the bulk of the crewed tactical air power of the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps for several decades. The aircraft is projected to operate until 2070. Type 45 Destroyer The Type 45 Destroyer, also known as the D or Daring class, is a class of six guided missile destroyers built for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy in the early 21st century. The class is primarily designed for anti-aircraft and anti-missile warfare and is built around the PAMS, Sea Viper, air defense system utilizing the Samson Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA, and the S-1850M long-range radars. The first three destroyers were assembled by BAE Systems Surface Fleet Solutions from partially prefabricated blocks built at different shipyards, the remaining three were built by BAE Systems Maritime, naval ships. The first ship in the Daring class, HMS Daring, was launched on February 1, 2006 and commissioned on July 23, 2009. The Type 45 destroyers were built to replace the Type 42, Sheffield class, destroyers that had served during the Falklands War, with the last Type 42 being decommissioned in 2013. The National Audit Office reported that, during an intensive attack, a single Type 45 could simultaneously track, engage and destroy more targets than five Type 42 destroyers operating together. After the launch of Daring on February 1, 2006 Admiral Sir Alan West, a former First Sea Lord, stated that it would be the Royal Navy's most capable destroyer ever, as well as the world's best air defense ship. The reduction in the number to be procured from 12, then 2, up to, 8, finally with only 6 confirmed, in 2008, was controversial. In 2016 it was revealed that due to a design flaw on the Northrop Grumman intercooler attached to the Rolls-Royce WR-21 gas turbine's power availability was diminished considerably when functioning in the warm climate of the Persian Gulf, and it quickly became apparent that the class was not operating as originally envisioned. Therefore, a planned refit was scheduled from 2019-21 to fully resolve the problems with the six ships in the class. Conclusion These weapon systems will give the United Kingdom a significant edge over any adversary. The capabilities of these weapon systems alone are planet-busting, nevertheless the entire might of the United Kingdom. Hopefully no one is so illogical as to attack the United Kingdom. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.